Consumer news this morning. Good news from the Labor Department to start off the week. U.S. job openings and overall hiring rose to five year highs in the month of September. A new job report shows postings rose by 69,000 to 3.9 million. That's the most since 2008, just months before the financial meltdown. And a scary story here. Boeing is warning airlines about a potential problem with some of its planes. The company says their 747 and their 787 Dreamliner models should avoid certain storms while flying due to possible icing problems. The aircraft manufacturer said only a small number of the planes had ice crystals forming in the engines. Boeing's Dreamliner model has suffered a number of technical problems notably battery fires in some planes that grounded Dreamliners for four months while Boeing made repairs. To the auto world, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is now investigating the safety of the Tesla Model S. This after three fires in the past six weeks. Last month, the agency said it was not planning to conduct a probe, but Tesla Motors said Monday it had requested the investigation. The CEO of Tesla says the fires were caused by accidents and not a problem with the car itself. There are about 19,000 Tesla Model S's on the roadways. And new this morning, gas prices are on the rise again. The Lundberg survey finds that the average price of a gallon of gas is up three cents nationwide to 3.25 a gallon. The highest average price is down in San Diego at 3.58 a gallon, while the lowest is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You can find a gallon of gas there for about 2.93. Back here at home, the average price of gas is 3.51, and the cheapest gas in town is at the Fast Strip on 34th and Q Streets. 3.26 is what you'll find it for over there. Important to note, though, prices can change at any time. To some entertainment news, Taylor Swift and Bon Jovi now top the list of concert performers who bring in the most money per city. A new report from Polestar says Taylor Swift averages more than $1.8 million at the box office every time she's in town, while John Bon Jovi brings in about $1.5 million per city. Also making that list, Michael Bublé, John Mayer, and Blake Shelton.